G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Mitchell Stark career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17 and I know there was only an episode uh, about two days ago um, but I'm just enjoying this series too much. I've got to get into another episode, I mean we're currently 1 for 15 and I'm just, I could just sniff a, an episode where we get about four or five wickets and I'm hoping this is going to be the one. Um, I also got a few requests for uh, for longer videos. Um, I'm going to try and get them up to about 10 or 12 minutes, which is usually my normal um, video length, but sometimes I have like a few shorter ones when I just record for not as much, um, but yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I'll try and get them up a bit. And yeah, as you can see, uh, 1 for 15, uh, South Africa 2 for 109, um, Faf Duplessis and Hashim Amla starting to get a bit of a wriggle on, uh, Duplessis with 43 and Amla with 26, so both of them need to go. Um, Levi, as I said in the last episode, he's definitely underrated for me, I've never heard of him really, and he got a nice 34, so that definitely helped him a little bit. Um, but yeah, too much talking, let's get into it, and let's open and grab a nice bag of 5 wickets. Just one thing before we uh, get stuck into it, um, a lot of people were asking if the Joe Rick career mode is going to be um, still going, and of course it is, I would never end that um, and like six episodes, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Here we go. To add to that as well, um, there'll be a Joe Rick career mode uh, episode out Wednesday, so look forward to that. Oh, that's a good delivery, and it's well fielded back there at mid-off, I think that is. Um, Dupla C45. Almost with his 50. Let's hope we can get him out before he does get that. It's another great delivery and it's another dot. Catch. Oh, I think he hit that onto his pad, which would still have been a catch if it was uh, eventually caught. But sorry if I sound like really congested. Um, I'm think I might have a cold or getting a cold, whether it be unfortunate. But oh, it's just horrible. I'm constantly having to swallow heaps. <laughs> oh my god. I bloody sound like a smoker at the moment in coffin, but let's have a look at that replay. That that could have been in Glenn Maxwell all over again. Let's have a look. It's swung in so much. Have a look at this. Oh, um, wait. Oh, that is just millimetres away. Bloody hell. Faf du C, you're a lucky man. Oh, how is that one? Has he edged it first? It looked pretty, uh, pretty good. Doesn't seem like it, no. Catch! Yes! Come on, there's a wicket! Faf Duplessis out of there. Right on the stroke of his 50. I wouldn't say he's on the stroke of his 50. 56, and we've got him. You surely wouldn't uh, review that one. Very thick edge, and he is on his way. Great catch from Peter Neville. It almost didn't carry like it was pretty close to the ground, but he got under it, and that is a great wicket. Takes us to 2 for 20. Temba Bavuma comes out to the crease. And let's hope he can uh, go, do, go go back to the uh, sheds in this delivery. Or maybe not. Nice little cut shot to get him off the mark. And that'll just be a single. Oh my god! This is beyond a joke. These bloody in-swingers are so deadly. Hashem Amla. He's a bloody cat at the moment with nine lives. Let's have a look at that one. I know you're probably sick of me looking at the replays, but that is just too close to not have a look at. Have a look. Here we go. And just over off stump. That is insane. Look at that. That's a nice little shot there. Wow, that's probably, I don't know, four centimetres. Just a little estimate. That's insane. <laughs> I'm speechless. That is... One more time. Just one more time. Have a look. at. Look at the cut. Look at the bloody jag on that. Have a look. Cut in so much. And again... Centimeters away from off stump. We get, we're gonna have to get a bloody wicket soon. Five dots in this over. Can it be a six? Oh! Oh, what a catch! I think it's Gully, and that is a beautiful catch, whoever it was. It is a wicket maiden. That is an absolute beauty. Who was it? I wanna so oh, can't check just yet. Definitely won't review that. Thickest of edges. Brad Hogg. He's nearly 40 years old, probably, if not 50. And he's just taken a ripper of a catch. And uh, as we did in the Nathan Line career mode, the best wickets when the series is finished. That's definitely going to be in the Mitchell Stark one. That's a pretty good shot from Bavuma. And I reckon it's going to get to the fence. It might do. Yes, it does. Bavuma, he's like, I don't know, five foot six, Probably short. He's a very short guy, but he seems pretty powerful. Look at this. Uh, we won't look at the whole replay, but yeah, definitely got to the fence that one. 
Um, hopefully we can get him out soon, but I can just see Bavuma taking a hold of this innings and possibly getting 100. Um, he's a pretty reliable player, but hopefully we can get him out soon. Oh, geez, that's a lot of cut on that one. And a good over, just four off it. It is currently 7 p.m., day one of this test match at Adelaide Oval. Currently, Quinn de Kock and Perry, not sure the first name. Uh, they're currently the two batsmen in. Uh, South Africa is 6 for 265, and we've been handed the ball yet again for this final session of day one. And what a time it is to get some wickets. This is usually the time where the most wickets are taken in a day-night test match. That's a bloody slow delivery to start things off. Oh, my God. That's almost neck leg stump. It's pitched about, you could almost say a metre at leg, metre bloody outside leg, and it's almost hit the stump. This is getting like too, too bloody... I don't, I don't even, I can't even put words together. That's just crazy stuff. Oh my god, it's happened again. Catch. Oh jeez, I just brought cover up too. Oh, even if cover was out though, I don't reckon I'd be able to get to that. Um, but Kyle Albert just toying with this. Bring cover up and he smashes one basically over his head. Hopefully it won't, won't happen again. Oh, catch him! Yes, come on! Very slow edge. It almost just floated to the slips of Nathan Lyon. Beautiful catch back there. Um, Kyle Abbott's gone after that pretty good shot. Let's have a look at the replay. Um, just your standard delivery. Standard little, I think it was an outswing. I might have been a, um, an off cutter. I don't know, but that bloody slips from next to Gaz. He just sort of ran up like he, he knew Gaz was going to take that, which. It's probably true, I mean, Gaz doesn't drop too many, does he? This has been a great over, only five off it and a wicket. South Africa have one wicket in hand for this first innings. 319, that's a pretty good score against us, because uh, this pitch is just doing so much. That's a good shot, it'll just be a dot, and it'll stick with five and a wicket for that one. Good over. I did have a suggestion in the last video um, to bring the slips and keeper up a little bit, and it's probably a good idea because the um, the edges we've seen, they're not carrying like very high, That most of them are really low. Um, so how do you do that? You go, we get position, we'll go up, slips, up, and that should, uh, yeah, they, they come now. Um, so that can, even though the reaction time is going to be a little uh, shorter, that'll, uh, you know, carry a little easier. Oh, that's not LBW. Oh, what's happened there? I think he might have edged it first. I sort of heard a nick first before I heard any other noise, and it looks like I was right. Um, there's been five dots in this over. Let's hope it's a, a wicket or a maiden. A wicket maiden. Let's put them together. Or maybe not. And it'll just be a single off that one. So, pretty good. Surely that wicket will come in the next over or two. I mean, who is this Kleinvelt? I've never heard of him. And you wouldn't think he's the best of batsmen. Philander going alright. 20 off 61. Uh, that's probably what we need to do when we bat. Um, I've been saying, look where we go now. We're straight into it. Um, looks like David Borner. 83, Smith gets 100, and Vo Voges gets a 60, War I mean, bloody Faulkner, I think he might have got 100, let's have a look, oh, unlucky, got 96, unlucky for James Faulkner there, but we've got a bat, I'm pretty sure, so we'll end this episode with a few shots, hopefully a few boundaries, and yeah, here we go, as I was saying, I'm going to try and work into an innings like I would with a, a bloody batsman at 2 or 3, um, instead of, like, I know I'm going on a fair bit about this, but um, in the Gaz, I sort of just try and hit sixes and fours, but I'm going to try and work in all innings and build a bit of a partnership. Oh, no run there. Good shot from Starkey, but it's straight to point. I think it's point out there, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's Hash Mamla at point. That was just straight into his hands. That was a pretty powerful shot, too. Would have gone to the boundary. Surely not, I vegged that. I vegged it. What? Um. I've <laughs> I was going to challenge, but I just. Oh, I'm a really stupid person, aren't I? Well, so much for working in on innings. We've just been. We've just uh, gone for a duck. That's unlucky. How does Hoggy go? Hopefully he gets 100. That'd be great. That's a good shot, shot to start things off. It's going to be 4, I reckon. Might just slow down. Will it get there? Yes, it will. Brad Hogg off the mark with the four. Would be nice if we could do that. Um, but yeah, let's move on. We'll simulate until we're into, into the second innings. 
Alrighty, so this is where I'm going to end the episode. It's been an absolutely brilliant one. We've got four wickets in the first innings, and we're about to open things up in the, in the second innings. Um, let's check out the scores for the first innings. So South Africa started with 330, did all right. We come out and scored 449 with no help from us, unfortunately. Um, and now South Africa's in none for none. We've got the new ball in hand, and next episode we'll come out, rip a few 160 clicks, uh, deliveries, and um, yeah, hope to take another four or five wickets. But that'll do it for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and also subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.